Well, hello there and welcome to the Astrology Hub podcast. If you are hoping to turn your love of astrology into a viable career path in perhaps a surprising way, this episode is for you. Today, I am here with three members of the Astrology Hub community who are in the midst of completing what's called the Rise and Thrive Coaching Academy Certification. They are here to give us their experience of this program so that any of you who are looking for ways that are maybe a little bit out of the box to turn your love of astrology into your career path so that you are aware of the opportunity that the Rise and Thrive Coaching Academy has for you and why it's specifically amazing for those of you who are interested and studying astrology. I have with me here today, Karen Hlady, Vanessa Mason, and Lisa Abbott, and they're going to share a little bit about their experience in this program. And so I would love to start by referencing you, any of you who are like, what are you even talking about? I recently did an episode with Catherine Plano, who is the founder of Rise and Thrive Coaching Academy. It is an ICF certified coaching program. So when you go through this program, you get a a certification, you are ICF certified. But the unique thing about this program that we're talking about here today is that astrology is incorporated into the foundations of the many different tools that they use in the coaching program itself. So our community has a really unique advantage going into this coaching program because you speak astrology. So there's a lot of people that go through this coaching program who don't speak astrology and they're still able to become coaches, but because you do have that background, it makes it even more advantageous for you. So I wanted to bring these incredible Astrology Hub community members who jumped into the cohort that Catherine had for our community several months ago. Was it like six months ago that you started the program? October. October. Exactly. Yeah. And so now they're in the program and they, they can share their experience. So let's just start here with your self assessment of your astrological level. So are you intermediate, beginner, advanced? Where would you place yourself in terms of astrological knowledge? And Lisa, let's start with you. Okay. Um, I would say I am definitely in the beginning stages. I've been um, working on and studying astrology for a couple of years now, and I've been um, in the inner circle community for a little over a year. Um, And yeah, I I think I'm still a beginner though. (laughs) (laughs) It's funny because 10 years later, I still would say I'm basically a beginner. You know, I mean, there's just so much to learn. So I think we can always feel like that. But so you've been in, you've been studying for a couple of years in the inner circle. So you're, you've, you had a certain level of commitment to yeah. learning. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, Vanessa, how about you? Yeah, I would say I'm an advanced, um, I, lifelong relationship with astrology that started when I was a kid, but it was really when I had my Uranus opposition. And that was just a couple of years before COVID and everything imploded with my job, what am I doing with my life? And that's when I dove right in and um, started really studying in depth. And I do readings, um, still been building that, but um, that has definitely been my path. Amazing. You know, we had Celeste Brooks on the podcast recently and her Uranus opposition, it sounds like the same exact thing. That's when Mm -hmm. her whole life blew up and she became an astrologer and it was like very out of the blue for her too. It was a very, like a surprising shift in her life. So that's the second time I've heard that story in a couple of weeks. Interesting. Yeah. Um, Karen, how about you? Thanks, Amanda. Lifelong learner. I've been dabbling with, interested, fascinated, engaged with astrology since I'm a child as well, similar to Vanessa. I don't think I will ever consider myself advanced, not in this lifetime anyways, because there's always another another layer and another layer and another way to look at it. And I, you know, intermediate and and constantly, constantly learning, but learning more and, and just seeing the synchronicity is a real treat. And to be able to have that lens to to look at life is uh is fun. 
It is fun. That's a great word. It's just, it is fun. And so we have beginner, intermediate, and advanced all here. And so tell us what was happening in your life when you decided to commit to this, the Rise and Thrive Coaching Academy? Like what what made you want to do it? Because it, it is a little bit of a commitment, right? It's a it's about a year-long program. You're jumping in, you're committing to something, you're committing to a path and you're committing to a certain certification that you're going to get at the end of it. So what was what was happening for you that was you were like yes this is i need to jump in and karen let's start with you again on that it was it was interesting cuz i watched your your podcast so i had seen the interview you had done with Catherine initially and it 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 was instant it was mm-hmm. like got to do it instant and then so when i have that instinctual piece i went back and i listened to it again oh. shared that information with some friends cuz i'm like the astro person in the group and you know some my friends like to tease me and that's fine. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> but as I shared that information, like, oh my God, that is perfect for you because wow. work semi imploding because um, that's the way life goes. And in my in my heart, in my soul, there's got to be a better way. You know, mm. like you look at life and you go, there's got to be a better way to help people out than this. There's just got to be a better way. And then out like magic, that episode happened. I said, watched it twice, signed up right away. I didn't even look at my credit card. I didn't even care. I just went and I signed up right away because I knew in my spirit it was the right thing to do. Amazing. What what work were you in before? Or, or what work are you in now? Or what what is your career path been I'm like? In the, I'm in the helping field. I'm in the helping field. Uh, I've his My life has been community health education and social services. And right now I'm in gambling prevention services. Wow. So that... Yeah, it's pretty neat. Like it's super, super neat. And there's so much space to provide support for people. And because we're, humanity's having a rough go. Like a lot of people are having a really, really rough go. And there's got to be a way to be able to help each other out in a good way. Yeah. You know, it was interesting. So we we just recently recorded the the next episode with Catherine, where, where I got to learn even more about the program and and she was talking about how powerful it is to be asking the right questions, to, to have like a tool set of questions that help people have their own insights and how this is actually an even more help, a, a, an even better way to help people, like you're saying, because they get to have their own aha moments, their own realizations versus us coming in and being like, this is what I see. This is what you need to do you know, this is what's going to happen or, you know, any of those kinds of approaches that can sometimes take people's power away really in the end. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. So Vanessa, how about you? What what was happening that made you go, I need to do this? Well, yeah, I was, um, I've been on living on the road kind of doing van life and I was giving the occasional reading out of the back of my truck, like a modern day Baba Yaga and I, and doing odd jobs here and there. And it was just, something was missing. Um, I do have an undergrad degree in psychology, but I never wanted to go that route, the traditional route with it. So when, similar to Karen, when I heard the podcast, um, first, when I heard about the podcast, I thought, oh, I need to go check that out. And listening to Catherine, I went and researched her, her school right away. And it was just um, seemed like the missing link for me between the psych background and astrology and an I just thought this is brilliant and this will give it structure. And um, I didn't hesitate either. Pretty similar to Karen, what she said, and just uh, put my card in and here we go. Amazing. I I mean, what I love about that is like right time, right place, right message. You, It was just talk about synchronicity, right? Yeah. Amazing. Okay. And then how about you, Lisa? So definitely synchronicity. I am an office manager and I've been doing that for a very long time. I'm actually 56 years old, going to be 57 this year. And I have no exit strategy. I have no retirement plans. I have no anything. And I was bemoaning that fact to my best friend um, the day before I got your email about the podcast. And I just, I woke up that morning. I think I got the email and it said, have you ever thought about building a career with astrology or doing a career with astrology. And I got so many goosebumps. It was crazy. I went, 
like a crazy person looking at everything on the Academy's website, um, called my girlfriend. I was like, I think this is it. You know, I think you, we, you and I cleared something yesterday and um, this just opportunity just came. And so yeah, definitely, I mean, I'm a little more conservative. I didn't give them my credit card right away, but I did, I did join the uh, payment plan, which I have to say is very convenient. Uh, you don't actually have to pay that much more for the class and um, I can do it in small chunks. <laughs> so yeah. I signed up a couple days later and I have not regretted it at all. Amazing. So they're starting another, this, this has been so successful, this first astrology hub co cohort of Rise and Thrive Academy, that they're starting another one on June 3rd. Oh, good. So anyone out there just going, oh my gosh, yes, make sure you go to astrologyhub.com slash coaching because you'll get to learn about the program there. But then you're also going to get to, Catherine was is going to offer a little bit of a taste of the program too. So you're there, she's going to do a free like webinar type thing where I think you're going to get to fill out one of the assessment tools and, and just get a feel for what it is. So if you're a little more conservative, like Lisa, you can get a taste of it yeah. before you just jump in and do what Karen and Vanessa did, which was like, I'm all in. You may or may not need that, but she did offer that she would um, make that available to our community. So let's talk about your experience so far. What has it been like? What have you learned? What are you most excited about? Um, Vanessa, let's start with you. Yeah, um, it's been a great experience across the board. Everything from even just the logistical side, dealing with, um, you know, if you have questions or dealing with the team, they're all so nice. They're such great people. Um, Catherine is just an incredible teacher, very hands-on. She, uh, she runs our mentoring sessions where you have your study groups of three mm. and you do your practice sessions and that that's a whole game changer. And I think we'll get more into that, but it's just, um, I mean, she, she says she guarantees a transformation for everybody. And, and I thought, well, that sounds nice, but you know, we'll see. And it's delivering so far very much. So, and also the study groups, you know, you just form this bond. I know Karen and I are part of one group and, you know, with our third person and it's just been really just life affirming and just having this female support. Um, and it's, yeah, I think that's been one of the favorite things about it. I love that. And it's one thing that as Astrology Hub, it's hard for us to provide that real, more one-on-one -on -one kind of intimate small group thing, just because we do reach such a large community worldwide. So I love, again, giving people an avenue where you can you can connect with people in, in a more intimate way. It's beautiful. Um, how about you, Karen? What, what, what's been your experience so far? It has been transformative. Like that's a big promise to make, to guarantee transformative. That's, that's, a, that's a gold promise and that's a high bar to set. And we're what, half-ish way through it, part way through. And I would consider that achieved and, mm -hmm. it, and, and in progress. The experience, like Vanessa is saying, the experience... The team has been fantastic, whether it's been Andoni in the question and answer period, whether it's been Nick with the feedback on the work, the work modules, because it's it's quite tight, right? Like this is this this isn't a fluffy cracker jack box coaching. This is an ICF accredited. You've got to be ready to do the to do the work, to do the personal work. And Catherine is just magical. She is, she's magical and she has structured this in a way, her and her team have structured this experience in a way that we have our small pod, which now we have lifelong friends, I think out of that pod, because you're sharing at a soul level in yeah. this intimate setting, because we're coaching with each other. So this isn't fluff. Mm. This is our, our deepest, most challenging, heart-wrenching, soul-challenging pieces. Then we have the Astrology Hub cohort. So there's that kind of that blankie. It's like having the astro blankie around us in a way, which is super neat. And getting to do like the astro lines blueprint and the and the astro coaching. And we're just going through some master classes right now with archetypes, which is I said to Catherine, I think it was yesterday, 
we can go through life sometimes. And you know, it's like you're, she uses this analogy. You have a flashlight and you only see what the light is shining on. And when she, when and how and how she structured the delivery of the archetypes, astrological archetypes, it was like flipping the switch in the warehouse. It just, the the big, you know, like that big aha. Yeah. And I can see how to make something that seems and feels ethereal, very practical on a day-to-day real way. Right. I love that. When you say that, and, and you both have said that, that Catherine guarantees transformation. One of the things she said on the recent podcast I had with her is that when we aren't doing our own work and we go into a coaching session or an astrology reading, oftentimes we're projecting our own blind spots or our own perceptions onto the person that we're giving a reading to. And so like you just said with the flashlight, we're just seeing this myopic version of that person in front of us. But when there's a deeper level of awareness of our own blind spots, shadows, pains, Chiron wounds, you know, we could use some astrology in this, then, then there, we can open up a much bigger spectrum to really receive the person for who they are, not for who we're projecting them to be, right? You both of you use the word transformation, that she's guaranteed transformation. Can you give me something tangible, like something that's like actually changed for you or transformed for you? And and maybe Lisa, you, we could start with you if if you've had that same experience. I have, I have everything they said and more. Um, so we are coaching each other. So in our small three groups, we have practice sessions, and I think we've done about five of them now, where one of us is the coach, one is the observer, and one is the coachee or the person being coached. And so I've had um, two experiences being the coachee. And um, based on the Astro Life group blueprint, which I could go on about a lot of things and maybe you don't want me to go too much. But um, so the Astro Life blueprint is basically a pie. You don't it doesn't say it's, you know, Mercury or Pluto or anything like that. It just has uh, it's a pie of 12 uh, pieces that say, you know, maybe you want to how do you feel about health and fitness? How do you feel about wealth and finance? How do you feel about your communication, family? And so you do the blueprint by um, there's numbers all along the edge. And you say, this is how I value this particular thing. So I value health and fitness quite a bit, but um, how am I satisfied with my current level of health and fitness? And then I might mark like five or six or even lower, which is I I marked even lower. (laughs) And um, so then you can see where, out of all these different archetypes, you need to do some work to get your level of satisfaction up to where you value it. Hmm. The the gap between where your level is and where you would like to be. So I've been concentrating on health and fitness because I have a lot of weight to lose and I have been overweight my entire life. And so we've gotten, you know, to, to some definite deep work where I've, discovered that I have like a rebellious little girl inside who was chubby as a kid and was put on a diet, you know? And so then I, you know, I'm like, okay, so I just need to talk. I need to talk to this little girl and I need to explain to her that, you know, even though we were restricted then I don't have to be now, you know, and Mm -hmm. I can, I can do what I need to do as an adult. So that's just one little transformation that I've had. I've had some others too, which have been really uh, fantastic and and growth, the growth is, has just been wonderful. Um, and I agree with everything that the lady said about, uh, the program itself, the people that we've worked with have been fantastic. So caring. I mean, you know, I've done other classes before and I've never had the level of like human connection and caring that I've gotten out of you know, the gentleman that answers the emails in the office, you know, the, the mm-hmm. gentleman that, that does our uh, Q and A's, I mean, just so caring and going o- above and beyond. And um, so, yeah, I, I, there's definite transformation, transformation going on. I, I would say a hundred percent. And I can see why she says it's guaranteed because mm-hmm. if you do the work, you 
you can't not get to a point of transformation. You know, we mm. all have something that we're not satisfied with in our lives. Yeah. And so if we're working on it, we're going to achieve some kind of transformation. What we do with it, of course, is up to us. But I don't think I don't think she's, you know, overblowing her uh, expectations. I think she's mm. accurate in that. Mm. That has been our experience, even as a partner with Rise and Thrive Academy. How wonderful, professional, but not cold professional, you know, caring, there's heart, there's warmth, and they're just, they're just good people and obviously believe in their mission and what they're doing. And it's just, it's, it is refreshing. And and so it makes me feel a lot more comfortable advocating for their company when we are, we are having such a great experience and you're reflecting that. So it's, you know, we, we take our recommendation very seriously and I would only want to recommend if I felt like our community is going to be taken care of by, by them. Okay. So I would love to ask you, Vanessa, how you feel your astrology background has impacted your ability to absorb the information, apply the information, bring it to life. How would you say it's helped? Oh, I think it's helped so much. Um, I know when when Catherine does bring the astrological archetypes and we've just been doing some um, a series of workshops about that. With my background, it, it's easy to absorb. I understand what she's talking about. Saturn, you know, a shadow and a light of Saturn and what that means. And so I think it's made it probably a lot easier for those of us coming in from Astrology Hub than Um, I think a lot of people who go to the school, they don't necessarily know much about astrology to begin with. And so they struggle a little bit to absorb and it takes them a little bit longer. So I would say it's a definite advantage. Hmm. How about either of you, um, Karen or Lisa, anything you'd want to add to that? Bringing it to life, really, really, really embodying it and, and bringing it to life. Having, you know, lifelong student is one thing. But getting down into the weeds, into the nitty gritty makes my Virgo rising do the dance of joy to be able to get into that kind of detail and to be able to interpret the transformations. It makes it so clear. Hmm. Understanding the astrology and having the archetypes presented and, and the synergy that goes with it, those good questions, like the the power of a brilliant question is breathtaking. On the first session, when I was a coachee, I was reduced to tears. Mm. And that was a good thing. Mm. Right? She, and Catherine, being a good human, she's not just a master class teacher and then off she goes, gave her number and we WhatsApped after and called and checked in, you know, like, hey, how are you doing? Are you okay? Because if you're authentic and you do the work, you are vulnerable. Mm. And that's where that's where the transformation happens. In that's been my experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true all the time, right? When we're authentic and vulnerable, we're open to the world and our experiences transforming us. And I can see how in this very like incubated environment where people feel safe and they feel like they can, you know, trust each other. And there's, there's a certain level of respect and camaraderie that it would just be accelerated. Right. Yeah. Um, how about you, Lisa? How how has your astrology background helped you in the program? Well, you know, I told you I'm pretty much a beginner, so I don't feel like I have a, a lot of knowledge. Um, I have some, I know my chart pretty well. Um, but because we're using the natural, it's, I didn't say this previously, but the Astro Life Blueprint is based on the natural zodiac. So it's the rulers of the natural, their natural houses. And mm-hmm. I I hadn't really studied that a lot. Um, so I want to say that if there are beginners out there that are thinking about doing the program, you will not be slowed down by not having that much knowledge because she gives us so much information. Mm-hmm. Um So I think that it helped. It definitely helped me um, to be able to understand it pretty quickly um, because I could see, you know, there are some other folks that were taking the class with us um, that 
had a lot more questions because they were a little less um, knowledgeable about the astrology. So it definitely mm -hmm. helped me. It got me um, thinking about the natural zodiac more. Really, I mean, it just awakened a whole bunch of information in my head I had no idea about with the natural zodiac and how much influence it still has. Mm. You know, apart from our regular chart, you know, regular. Yeah. 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 One of the things we were talking about is how, and this was actually behind the scenes, but how we all have all of the archetypes within us yeah. and how once you're, once you're aware of the energies, you can actually invoke mm -hmm. and, and bring out these aspects of yourself when you need it. You know, when you need Saturn, bring out Saturn. When you need to write and communicate, bring out Mercury. And and it's it's all within us. So I I love that it maps to the natural zodiac zodiac and the and and what you're saying there too, Karen, about how it brings it to life. Like it it brings the astrology into an applicable form, right? Definitely. What are you hoping to do with this? Like you're going to go through this certification. How are you going to use it? in the next phase of your life. Um, let's start with Karen. In a perfect world, I like the magic wand question, right? So like in yes. a in a perfect world, yes. looking at that next, like I'm looking kind of in a 12 year plan because Jupiter is entering Gemini right now. Yes. So it's coming into my house and we're in mm. a wood dragon year as well. So those are every 12 years, I can see massive transformation in my life. So now mm -hmm. I know I'm hitting, I'm hitting one of those years. And, you know, I'm, I'm in my early fifties. Well, you know, I guess not as early as I was, but that's, that's the way, <laughs> that's the way it goes. I'd like to be able to really pivot life into, into a life coaching situation to be able to do this in a global way. I have aging parents. I need the flexibility to ensure that I can look after them. Mm -hmm. And I, every encounter I have with people, I come out learning something new mm -hmm. every single time. So I'd love to be able to continue to grow that part of me and have this cycle of of helping each other and being able to provide some some life coaching armed with this beautiful modality of of Jungian psychology and psychodynamic and, and archetypes and being able to bring that into life and make real help people provide a space for people to help themselves in a real measurable way fashion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need that sometimes. I mean, it's hard to even track progress and, and, and celebrate how far we've come. And so having tangible ways to do that is really powerful. That's beautiful. Um, how about you, Vanessa? What are you hoping to do with it after, if you have your magic wand, what will happen after the program? Well, I still, I think this will take my practice to a next level. And I, again, there's a reason I, I went to psychology to begin with. I, I really did want to help people and still do. And I think that this is a great way because now it's a way to approach an astrology reading, even in a more interactive way. And to, I mean, in one thing, I, because I ha, I've had some, you know, epiphanies in life and some incredible experiences. And after that, I said, I want to bring people, guide them to the same point where they can set themselves free, like I felt I was able to do. So that is what I see possible with this and asking the coaching questions and presenting a chart and getting someone, you know, who's sitting with you to come to their open point of self-discovery instead of you just spitting out the information for them. So I think that's amazing. I cannot wait to see how this grows and, and where it goes. And I, I think it's really exciting. Mm. How has it changed the way you approach an astrology reading already? Yeah. So instead of just, um, here are all your planets, here are all your houses and just me, you know, doing a lot of the talking, I feel it's a way to have more of a conversation now and, and ask some of those open-ended questions. Like, like Karen said, they are really powerful and get the client to start talking and participating. And then it's a better way for them, I think, to understand the, you know, what, especially if they're new to astrology, what it all means because this is how they're learning they're talking out with you and they're discovering so mm -hmm. yeah it's definitely more conversational now have you noticed an impact in the result like have you noticed that people are walking away seemingly more satisfied or or with more revelations or insights how has it impacted the outcome of your readings that's still a work in progress but i think from what i'm getting it's just um 
people are really absorbing it well and they are having, um, you know, I, I did have a friend I was doing a reading for in that style who had a bit of an aha moment. And so, you know, instead of um, he did, me bleeding, they were able to walk into that on their own, if that makes sense. And just um, in, instead of being told, or told this is what's happening with the transits. It's how do you want to approach the transits, you know? And, and so you have a little more power. I always feel you do have free will, but this empowers them more. Mm. I mean, it's true that all of us growing up, like our parents told us stuff, right? <laughs> but it was, yep. once you have the experience and you have your own realization, then it's like, oh, okay, I get it. Like, I understand this in a totally different way. Yeah. Yep. Okay. How about you, Lisa? What would you say you would like to do with this when you're done? I would definitely like to have a life coaching business. Um, I am working full time. So um, in the beginning, I will be doing it part time. And um, Catherine has an opportunity for anyone that graduates through her program to start working immediately for her. Um, So I'll probably do that in the beginning to get some experience and um, and then see what happens. So yeah, I'm I'm very interested in starting my own life coaching business. Yeah, I mean that was the part that just was the cherry on top for me. I'm like, what? And then they have it. They have an employment after, like they can actually get a job immediately after graduating. And right. she said that there's more demand than they have coaches, and so she's that they're training great coaches and then they are able to put great coaches to work. And I said, I asked her too, it's, it's almost like, is this, this seems like too good to be true. So, you know, when I'm listening, it's like, wow. But I said, does everybody get shot? Like, does everybody get work after? She said, oh yeah, definitely. And that they are, they're, they're not just going to have thousands and thousands of coaches on their app, that they're definitely discerning and you need to go through the program and you need to graduate and you need to, have your hours and all that good stuff, but, but that you will work. It's like, oh my God. I mean, you can't really say, you can't say that about most anything. You definitely can't say that about astrology certifications that are just astrology. I don't think any of them will say, you know, we'll guarantee that you're going to have readings or, you know, have a business out of this. So it's just an amazing blend. What else would you like to say to anybody who's thinking about this? Who's just like, oh, I don't know, maybe this could be right. Is there anything you would say to someone who's kind of on the fence and considering? So I definitely think there is absolutely nothing to lose. Um, If you are getting the goosebumps like I did when you heard about the program, it is very much worth the effort. Um, It, I mean, it, it's a class. So you do have to do, you know, you have to do study, you have to do a workbook, you have to answer questions, you have to do a lot of reading and, and and it does take a little bit of work. So it's not like it's easy peasy and, you know, you're going to get through and, and not have to put out any effort, but the effort is so worth it. And um, the transformation, you know, it's almost like, even if you did it just for the the transformation of it all, the, you know, the, the things you're going to learn about yourself, the development you're going to have in, you know, different parts of your life. Uh, you know, even if you did nothing else with it, I think it's worth, you know, spending uh, the time and the effort to be part of the program. And again, it's such a warm and welcoming environment that, you know, there's just no reason to say no if you're interested. Hmm. Amazing. Okay. How about you, Karen or Vanessa? I mean, definitely a lot of what Lisa said about the transformation. I mean, it's a win-win-win situation. Um, you know, at one one level, you come out as a coach with a certification and you can do a lot of good work. Um, or, you know, on the other end of the spectrum, you come out knowing yourself. I think everybody, um, all of us coming through Astrology Hub, I mean, and who are drawn to astrology, we're really into self-discovery. And so you get a lot of that with this class and it just takes it to a deeper level and it's just seeing the shifts. Um, I mean, that was half the attraction when I looked at the school and I thought, you know, if nothing else, I get to work on myself some more. And just seeing already my life has changed in some pretty profound ways. And I mean, that's amazing. And I cannot recommend this program enough. I really can't. Mm-hmm. It's It will change your life. And that's not just a cliche. 
Amazing. Karen. Well, sometimes, you know, some people spend more on therapy over a year and don't get the same results that you get here. Because there's a... um, If you do the program, you get to learn, you know, the distinctions, counseling, therapy, coaching, their orientations and their purposes, and they're all valid. And out of this experience, I'm coming out of this, I think, as both both of uh, my friends said here, if you know yourself better and you've done some personal work and you've done some growth, there's there's no losing there. That's that's an automatic win. Hmm. Like just from a personal development perspective. You have an automatic win meeting some incredible people. Not every community or every workplace you have have incredibly supportive, heartfelt, soul felt people. It's quite a a unique experience to have. And I wish that on everybody, friends, enemies and frenemies. Like I think everyone needs to have that experience because we'll walk this earth in a better way. Yeah. And Just when people are happier, they're not tearing each other apart. That's Mm. that's pretty basic, pretty basic stuff. And to have the opportunity, the work, there's the academic work. Like like Lisa said, you've got to do the work. This isn't just, you know, click, 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 done. Like you actually have to do the work. And if you don't get it right, they they send you back your workbook and go, they they hone and you need to answer this better. What's that? Like it's really digging down into the weeds. And coming out of this with an opportunity to do this for a living, like you came out of your personal transformation doing what your heart's path is for a living. How cool is that? And like guaranteed. <laughs> like that's the part where I was really... Wow, I love it. And I love what you just said about people having an experience of real heartfelt community because so many people have never even had that experience. They don't even know it's possible. But once you know it's possible, then you can be the facilitator of it in other places. You can bring that that energy into your home. You can bring that energy into your work. You can bring that energy everywhere you go because now you've touched it. You know, you've had a tangible experience of it. So, wow. I mean, I knew this was going to be good, but this is amazing. I'm so happy that it's worked out so well for you. Again, it was a theoretical, yes, this is a great idea. But then to hear your experience of receiving the email and watching the podcast and then jumping into the program and how it's impacted your life just makes me so happy. So I'm just, I'm so grateful to the three of you for being willing to share your experience, for for being like total gamers. Like you just jumped in and went for it, which is just cool. And, um, you know, thank you for being a part of the Astrology Hub community as well. And it makes me happy to know that There's people like you out there. I always love the opportunity to get to know you a little bit more and to, you know, share stories and, and feel each other this way. So thank you for that. If you want to have any of these types of experiences, if this is calling to you, if you're having goosebumps, as Lisa said, um, now's the time. This, this would be the time they're going to start a new cohort for our crew June 3rd. It's so funny because I got off the podcast with Catherine last time. I was like, I kind of think I want to do this. This sounds awesome. Yes. Can I do it? She's like, yes, you could do it. I was like, hmm, wow, maybe this this would be awesome to just experience, you know? Did they answer questions for you like when you were deciding or did you, there was some back and forth for you, Lisa? I did. Yeah. I emailed uh, the support email um, and that's Nick we've mentioned. Um, and he is super um, about getting back to you and answering your questions. And I was kind of obnoxious because I sent like email after email after email. And he answered all of my questions very nicely and politely. And they are in Australia. Um, they're yeah. based in Australia. And I did want to say just as a, a point that they are so accommodating because, you know, I'm in central time. These ladies sometimes are in Canada, sometimes in other places. Uh, We have uh, one student in Japan. We have a student, um, we have some Australian students, but mostly they're from the States and they're kind of all over. And they have been really accommodating to to get you to get the the schedule so that everybody can participate at a time that's reasonable for them. So she told me that, yes, that, that they, they break you into groups of three and that they work with you to find the right time zone, you know, a time that works for everybody Mm -hmm. in that group of three. And Mm -hmm. she also said that the, the group of three where you meet, is that 10 times, right? You meet in the group of three, 10 times. Mm -hmm. Um, 
that that's the only like mandatory timing thing. Other than that, you the, everything's recorded and it's kind of self-paced. Like you do the rest of the program when it works for you in your schedule. That's right, yeah. right? Did all I get that of right? the work of the the actual um, study and the and the workbook work is all self-paced, and you have about I think it's about six weeks or more for each module, and we're we're in module five now. Um, and, so, and you work full time, Lisa, and you have time to do this. How do you do it? Do you just like dedicate a day of the week or how many hours a week are you spending on the content? Well, I wasn't as uh, dedicated in the beginning. I kind of just did it here, did it there. But now I try to set aside uh, several hours at a time to to work on it. I feel like the, the modules have been getting deeper and um, taking a little bit longer. And so, I mean, I spend at least a few hours a week um, on it, mostly yeah. on the weekends. On the weekends. How about you too? Is that about what you would say? I would say definitely because it's it does take a while. The workbooks, they have case studies for us to do, which is really great. It's challenging, but it, in a good way. And it does take time and you want to give it a lot of thought and I'll, I'll sit and pour over it for hours. And then, you know, it, it just depends. I'll go back to it another week, but it is I mean, even you do, if we're on module five right now, the thing is some people are still on uh, module two or three. So you don't have to, mm. you don't have to rush if it doesn't feel right for you. You can just really do it at your own pace. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same for you, Karen. Similar experience. Well, and I, I binge study. I was like that when I, I did, you know, when I did my bachelor's and my graduate work, I'm, I'm that person. And I, I, I do things in bin, in binge bits. So, but what it allows me to do is to immerse myself in it. Yeah. And one of the things that I appreciate about how Rise and Thrive presents the modules is you have audio and you have written because we mm-hmm. all have different learning modalities, audio, video, kinetic, and we mm-hmm. all have different ways of absorbing information and mm-hmm. they're all provided. Mm-hmm. So you can even use things as a combo where I'll print and I'll listen to the audio and read at the same time. You can pause, you can speed up the voice, you can slow it down, you can go back. Yeah. And that's really useful to be uh-huh. able to do it in whatever way works best for you. So someone else, yeah. you know, we all have different ways of absorbing information. So I like I'll binge. I've completed module five and I think it's due in two weeks just because I have mm-hmm. other work commitments. Like I know my my real life schedule, I'm like, and this is important to me. And I wanted to make sure to have my rise and thrive complete because now I have other work issues that I need to deal with. And that that important piece is done. Mm-hmm. Now I can deal with some of the other shenanigans in life until the next module comes up and then I can dig back into that again. Mm, I would definitely do it that way too. I, I call it batching. I would batch and just go all in for long periods of time. And yeah, yeah. Okay, amazing. But there's something for everyone. So it sounds like, you know, all three of you have approached it differently and, and it works no matter what. So awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful for your time. This is such a generous sharing. Thank you for showing up and for sharing your experience and your story. Thanks to all of you who are listening. Um, again, go astrologyhub.com slash coaching. We're going to put that link in the show notes. So if you're driving and you can't note that down right now, just check the show notes. We'll send out an email about this. We just want to make sure anybody who's interested in jumping in has all the information they need. And um, like I said, Catherine's going to offer another opportunity for you to get a taste of it if you would like that. And just go to that page and all the information that you need is there. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being a part of our community. Thank you for tuning into this episode. Thank you as always for making astrology a part of your life and maybe coaching now as well. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Take care, everybody.